everybody, it's Miss Allie from the East Cobb Library, part of Cobb County Public Library System. I'm glad you're here for Family Art Time this week. It's February now and we're going to celebrate Black History Month. That is the month that our country chooses to set aside to celebrate the accomplishments throughout our nation's history of African Americans. We're going to celebrate today by reading a great book by a wonderful African-American author. Her name is Carol Boston Weatherford. She's from Maryland. Now she lives in North Carolina, and she's written so many books for kids. Some of them are chapter books, some of them are picture books, and some of them are nonfiction. She also writes poetry. She's done a wonderful job of telling us about different Black experiences throughout all her writing. The one we're gonna read today is about jazz. What is jazz? That's a type of music that's uniquely American, and it is wonderful and fun and uses all kinds of great instruments. So make sure you stick around for our craft after the book because we're going to make a fun paper musical instrument. So let's get ready for our book. Okay, here's our book. It's Jazz Baby by Carol Boston Weatherford, illustrated by Laura Freeman. Let's see what happens in this book. Oh, it looks like she's getting ready to dance. Ooh, all the kids are coming. They are ready to dance to the jazz music. Jazz baby, jazz baby, join the band. You've got music in your hands. Can you make music with your hands? Can you clap? I know you can clap. Jazz baby, jazz baby, blow your horn. You've got rhythm, sure as you're born. Oh, he's playing a trumpet. Can you pretend to play a trumpet? All right, you've got to wiggle your fingers and blow as hard as you can to make that music. Jazz baby, jazz baby, tap your feet. Snap your fingers, happy beat. Wow, snap if you can. It's pretty hard though. I know you can tap your feet. Get that rhythm going. Jazz baby, jazz baby, pound your drum. Hear it thump thump, drum a tum tum. Oh, look at her go. Can you pound a pretend drum? Or you can make drum sounds with your legs, pound on your legs with your hands. Jazz baby, jazz baby, swing and sway, shake and shimmy, dance all day. Wow, look at them go. I know you can dance. Start dancing. Jazz baby, jazz baby, strike those keys, make them clink clink if you please. Oh, he's playing a little piano. Can you pretend to play the piano? Looks like he's got someone singing along. Jazz baby, jazz baby, cut a rug. Jiggle, wiggle, jitterbug. Cut a rug, what does that mean? That's an old fashioned word that means dance. Looks like they're partner dancing. Can you get your grown up to dance with you? Or maybe you have a brother or sister to dance with? Jazz baby, jazz baby, pluck those strings till that big bass sizzles and sings. Oh, pretend to pluck the strings on the big bass. That makes some really low notes. Jazz baby, jazz baby, hippity hop, bounce and boogie, bebop, bebop. Oh man, they are still dancing. Are you still dancing? Are you getting worn out yet? Oh, I think they wore themselves out. Jazz baby, jazz baby, hum a song. Let it rock you all night long. That's the end. All right, get your craft supplies ready. We're gonna make our craft mix. Okay, everybody, you've got your craft supplies out. Well, we're gonna make a paper musical instrument. Does anyone know what this instrument's called? It's got all these little lines. It's a pretend xylophone. You know what these are? little mallets so if you had a real xylophone that's how you'd play it you hit it with the wooden mallet and each one of these strips would be a different note ours is pretend but that's okay so get your glue stick out and let's start gluing you're gonna do smallest you're gonna do smallest to largest or are you gonna do largest to smallest whatever way you'd like I think I'll start with the largest what color is that I know you know your colors it's pink. Very nice. So glue it on the longest one. Do you know how many we have? Let's glue them all on and we'll count them. All right. Red's next. Get some glue on. Now 
stitch it to its spot. I thought it was easiest to do it this way, where I lined them all up from smallest to largest. So when you dump them out of your envelope, you could do that before you start gluing. There's orange. What's next? You know that one, right? Yellow, just like the sunshine. We're going to have a sunny day, I hope. Maybe a warm day in February. That'd be nice. All right, next we've got a light green. All right. You guys are doing great at this. You know what shape these are? Are they circles? Are they triangles? No, Miss Allie, they're rectangles. Long, skinny rectangles. All right, now we've got another green this is like grass green then here's a pretty color it's kind of a, a teal blue maybe a dark aqua all right get that one on there then we've got a light blue i need some more blue you guys are doing great light blue and finally we're going to end with Ooh, nice bright purple. That's a pretty one. All right, just glue that on your xylophone. So if you wanted to, you could pretend to play your xylophone. Even if you don't have mallets, you could use something you find in your house. Maybe some little sticks, some straws, something. You can sing along. If you really want to make it fun, you can decorate it like that one. Do you know what this says? M-U-S-I-C. That spells music. And these are little music notes all around, so you can draw some music notes if you'd like. My phone's not working very well. Let's use red. There we go. So they have the little round part on the bottom and the stem at the top, and then sometimes they'll have a little flag. That's an eighth note. If it has two flags, it's a sixteenth note. <laughs> if it has no flags, it's a quarter note. So you can color it however you want. Maybe you want to draw some other instruments. Maybe you want to draw some kids dancing, like in our book, because they were having a good time dancing to the jazz music. You decorate it however you'd like, because it's your xylophone. Okay, well, we're all done for today. Hope I'll see you next time. Have a great day, everybody.